Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Oh, hi. Welcome to another episode of Cut the Tape. This week, I thought we would cut something else besides the tape. Uh, as you can tell, I'm very handsome, but I have come to the point in my life where I need to shave my head. So, I have never buzzed my head before. I have never shaved my head. This is gonna be a first for me. This is the first time this has ever happened in my life. So I have my assistant Tiffany here holding the camera. I've got my tools here. I got my Con Air clippers. I've got my Pitbull Gold 2000 Deluxe Premium Scalp Shaver. This is brand new. I've never used this before. Sounds, sounds sharp. Uh, I don't know if this will be needed, but I've got a pair of clippers that don't work. And I got a straight razor. Because uh, only a real man can shave with a straight razor. So, this, this is the first for me. Um, I thought what we'd do is we'd probably maybe go down the middle and make like a little track for a Hot Wheels car. So... Uh, my daughter Maddie's over here. She's watching. You ready, Maddie? All right, this is it. This is the first time I've ever shaved my head. You think I should go through with this, Tiffany? Do it. I mean, we're gonna go for the Mr. Clean, the the baldy bald bald look. You're gonna look so mean. I am. Gonna, I'm gonna look like a badass. <laughs> Oops. There we go. into this week's Cut the Tape. Yeah. Welcome to Cut the Tape. This is the second part of a one-part episode. So, now that we're done with this, we can move on to the main course. And what is on the menu tonight? Well, it is Brave Maximus. This is a toy that I've been waiting to open for quite some time. How long? 20 years, actually. This originally came out in the year 2000. And to commemorate the 20th anniversary of Car Robots, or Transformers 2000, or Car Robots 2000, or RID, however you call it, I'm going to open this Brave Maximus. I'm finally at a point in my basement where I can open this and display it properly. I've been waiting for the right time. It took me 20 years, but I've been waiting patiently. And I thought, now's the right time. So, I usually get two of each item, one to open, one to keep sealed. Uh, these are the exact same version. They're the Japanese version. 
There is another version in a slightly altered box because of countries of origin and where they're released. This is the vertical and this is the horizontal version of the box. If I turn it around, you can see it's just the vertical. So I've already compared the two of these. And even though this one's got a little nick on the front, this box is a little more beat up. This box came later into my collection, so I'm gonna open this one. I'm a little nervous to open this, not just because of the age. You know, people might give you crap. It's 20 years old, you don't have a right to open that, or you're gonna ruin that, you know what? It's my toy, I'm gonna do what I want with it. No one has the right to tell you what to do with your property. There's also a lot of issues with Brave Maximus. The Cerebros tends to break, so there's a chance I'm gonna open this up and it's gonna be broken. In addition to that, it's just been a long wait, so <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Um, the reason I'm doing this up here is because I needed, I wanted a lot more space, so excuse, excuse the window as the background. And to give you a little history of this toy, this is the Fortress Maximus mold. Originally released in 87, then it came out in Japan as an exclusive, redecorated as Grand Maximus, and now here it is again as Brave Maximus. This mold would later be used as the Fortress Maximus Encore Edition. There's about 50 molds that go into making this toy. I know that uh, just because I really, really, really tried to get this toy re-released for BotCon as an exclusive, but because there were so many molds that needed to be put through the machine, it just wasn't a viable thing. So, let's cut the tape. All right, I'm gonna move this guy to the side. Do you wanna come over, Maddie? No? You wanna see me open this toy? This, toy, this toy's older than you. Come here. All right. Maddie, do you want to cut the tape? Come here. I'm going to let my, my daughter, who is how old? You're five years old? All right. Maddie, I'm going to give you a great honor. I'm going to let you take daddy's knife. I'm going to let you take daddy's knife. And look, we're going to show everyone at home. You may not be able to see it, but I assure you this is 100% sealed. And I'm going to tell you another story. You know what? I'm going to hold that knife for a second more. I'm going to tell you another story. I've only handled Brave Maximus once in my entire life, and it was broken. So this is going to be a whole, whole new thing for me. All right, Maddie. I never thought I'd be giving this to my daughter to cut open, but you see this piece of tape right here? Can you cut that? You gotta put you gotta put it in there and now there you go. Do that one too. This one this one right here. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Maddie, you just cut the tape on a toy that's older than you. Alright. And I I wanna cut a little bit of the tape too. So there's three pieces of tape. I'm gonna cut the middle one. Boom! Alright. It is unsealed after 20 years. We are releasing it from its cardboard prison. We picked a good side to open, Maddie. So, right on top, we have our instructions bag, which is taped to the insert. So, it has a card, it has, you know those pullouts that you used to have in G1, where it would show you all the different figures available, it has that. It has an instructions booklet in here. It's pretty massive, and I'm, I'm not sure, but there may be a sticker sheet. Let's go. Looks like there's a maybe a feedback form here as well. We have the Brave Maximus card, and I just love these. This is a case fresh 
conversion. 20 years it's been waiting for, for someone to open. Here are all the uh, Destrons, the Decepticons. Here are the Cybertrons, AKA the Autobots. Whew. And it looks like there's uh, some little super deformed characters here at the bottom, which I wasn't familiar with. I'm gonna have to look into those. And let's see, we have, oh, that's right. So the instructions actually turn into a play mat. You put the Brave Max on here. Okay, Maddie. And I'll show you. So you put the ramps right here. And this version was used. Here, I'm gonna cut the tape on this. Fruit snacks, boom. This version of the toys was used for the Spy Changers. Those were G2 toys, which got redecoed and re-released in R.I.D. R.I.D. is one of my favorite lines because it's so unique and it's so odd. And a lot of people wonder, well, how come I can't find DVDs of that? How come, uh, mostly in the United States, I, I can't see that anywhere except for YouTube? Well, that's because this particular cartoon show was produced in conjunction with Saban Entertainment which were later bought by Disney. And so while Hasbro owns the rights to the characters, Disney owns the rights to that particular animation and there's no deal in place to bring this to DVD. Uh, I fought for it while I was there, but it just wasn't something that at the time, people don't play with that, thought, could be monetized appropriately. All right, here we are with the insert. It's a cardboard insert, the Grand Max and Fortress Maximus inserts were styrofoam. And I remember playing with that insert. I took that insert and I used to use that as a Sulaco, which was the colonial marine ship from Aliens. And I would take my GI Joes and I would put them inside the Fortress Maximus styrofoam insert, and that would be the Sulaco. And then I would use Soundwave as the Alien Queen and the tapes as like chest bursters, little aliens. All right, here we go, Maddie. These are called twist ties. And there's a lot of them. <sighs> Twist ties are not fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 twist ties. That's going to need a spot to pull. Yes. I'm used to women laughing at me. Oh. All right. So instead of cutting all the tape off these and then untwisting the ties and then pulling them out through the front, I'm gonna use a simple nail clipper to cut them. This is a nail clipper that I use specifically just for cutting toys. I don't use this on my body or anyone else's body. So. Let us open Brave Maximus. Let's see. Cerebros is placed in there. Looks like there's a little bag with the Headmaster and the uh, radar dish. I'm a little nervous. And there's, there's a little bit of dust on the inside of it. This is Brave Maximus. We're gonna cut right here. Boom. Cut. Boom. Cut. You've cut. Now it's cut the wires. Cut. Two. Three. 
Buddy, I'm sorry it took me so long to get to you. I wasn't trying to ignore you. I was just waiting for the right house. That's all. All right. Diecast metal construction. It's a lost art. Almost there. So what's interesting about this, it looks like the, not all the twist ties are actually keeping him in place. Some of the twist ties are actually keeping the cardboard insert so that he doesn't bang against the side of the box in place and not the actual figure. So that's something I've, I uh, can't ever recall seeing on any other toy line. All right, that do it. Oh, let's cut right here. Let's cut over here. All right, I think we're at a point where, boy, it is really dusty. All right, so no, we're not there yet. All right. So, I know lighting's not the best. I'm gonna have to do it this way. It's hard to get my clippers in there because of the limited space. damage the stickers that are already placed on him. Maddie, get down from there. Hey, shh. You're distracting me. I need to I need to see where I'm cutting. Yeah, yeah, it's all funny until daddy gets annoyed. And every time I look at this, I'll be like, Maddie. Alright. I think we're ready. So here's another thing that's interesting. It's this, this cardboard up here is uh, taped down, again, to stop the wiggle, stop the figure from moving around. Oh, man. We've got an arm out. We've got another arm. And we've got a head. Now these twist ties are really tied, very tight around him. That is the problem. So I think if we move some of these twist ties out of the way, but it's still, it's just pinched between the, because of the leg. And there we go. God, look at all, the, look at all that, these twist ties. Wow, here he is. Brave Maximus. Let's give him a little haircut. Now, Cerebros has some uh, clear bands holding him uh, transformed as the head. You know what? They're, they haven't dried out. They're still elastic, but they are fragile. The, the elasticity on them has, they're almost dried out. Didn't need, even need to cut them. So, we'll connect that part. You can help, absolutely. All right. Here's what you can do. You can take this sharp thing. All right, I'm gonna give you the sharp thing. 
Come over here. We're gonna come over here. I need you to cut the tape here and up here so we can get that little bag out. Here? No, look, I'm gonna show you. Put the knife down for a second. Look right here. Right up here and right down here so I can get that bag out. So, that and that. All right. When we're not using our knife, Maddie. Oh, I'll talk about that in a second. When we're not using our knife, we close our knife. All right, hang on a second. So we have our sealed bag here. Let's open it up. Oh, vintage smell. We have our radar dish. We have our little spike figure. And I am just transforming him to make sure he is okay. Hey. And we have Cerebro's gun. All right. Let us remove the two ramps. And this one I didn't even have to cut. This one just slides right out. This one probably slid right out too. So, man, look at that. This back in here and we'll get we'll we'll come back to this. You know, looking at this, the actual color of the plastic has bonded with the elect uh, with the elastic bands, so I could see where they were touching the red legs of Cerebros. Maximus here. It looks complete. It looks like all the parts were there. Now, he is missing a few pieces. He's missing uh, both his, his blasters. The Japanese version of Grand Max and Fortress Maxis came with a sword. He's missing that as well. There was also a pretender shell that Cerebros would fit in for Grand Maximus. That did not uh, come with this. Alright, I'm going to transform Cerebros very carefully because the legs, the hips tend to break. I just want to pop in that headmaster. Oh yes, yeah, okay, we'll talk about that in a second. Thank you for reminding me. All right, let's get that headmaster goodness in here. Oh. There is something to be said about stupid little gimmicks like that. I mean, it's so 80s. It's, it's just, when headmasters came back for War for Cybertron, or Titans Return, it was cool, but it wasn't, it wasn't this. It just wasn't the same. It's a lie. That's not a lie, it's the truth. <laughs> not a lie. Not a lie, no. All right, so we have no sticker sheets. All right. Ooh. So, we do have some rubber, some clear plastic bands here around uh, both these red components because there are doorways that open. here. Take that down. And, uh, you know, we got to transform. So, just put this ramps on him. Really wish he had his, his uh, blasters with him. Um, this, this is really good. Yeah. But uh, I, I just so happen to have an, an extra Fort Max one, or I have an extra, you know what, I have an extra Grand Max one, which is red. And I think that'll work a little bit better with them. I just gotta dig it out. So I'm noticing that this is a little loose, this is really loose. 
Look at that. Oh my god. It didn't break. It's just it's just loose. It's just loosey goosey. Alright, let us transform Brave Maximus. Get out of there. Get out of there with that. What are you doing? You're in my shot. Making time with you. You're, You're making time with me. You're running. Oh. You're already running out of time. I'm running out of time. You're running out of time because it's night time. Because it's night time. Can I help you with something? You know what? I'm going to do this part by myself. You know why? Because I'm a big kid. Oh, this now this is the part I'm nervous about. Nice these, these joints here. Hey. Loose. Those leg joints make me nervous. I the plastic is definitely a different quality than Fortress Maximus or Grand Maximus, and I can tell that the die cast is also a different quality. It seems a lot cheaper, and I don't want to grab this by the tower because this tower will rip off. I don't know if that's happened on Brave Maximus, but I ripped the tower off of Fort Max once. All right, so now we have some ramp extensions here on this play mat. Uh, we have some train tracks as well. We put our satellite in here. Maddie, enough. I wish it had a little bit more stickers. I, I feel like we need the landing, the helicopter landing pad here. Mm. I wish it had a little bit more stickers, but this is cool nonetheless. So, thank you very much for joining us on Cut the Tape. I still have a sealed one right here. Yeah. Huh? What do you think? Should we put this in the basement or leave it here for mommy? Uh. Yeah, let's put this in the basement. All right, everyone, thank you so much. I'll give, I'll give you a close-up of the map.